Hey guys, Dr. Brandy Manny, developer of the Functional Practice. Quick video today. So, uh, when docs come in the group, um, I always ask, hey, what's your number one struggle? Like, is it marketing? Is it, you know, what is it? Um, probably two, the, the past few weeks, uh, this has been a, a common one. Uh, clinical confidence. How do I get better from a clinical perspective? Uh, so let me just give you my top three ways to really crank things up from a clinical perspective. Do you need FMU? No. Have I been through it? Yes. Is it a boring grind? Yes. Do you need IFM? No. Uh, what degrees do I have? DC. <laughs> you know, that's all you need. Um, no, there's nothing wrong with becoming a you know, diplomat and adding more degrees and, and credentials, and that's all fine. However, um, a lot of times I, I've been coaching functional docs for the past five years, and what I found is that most functional docs are very analytical. They're very into science and the research, and when you really immerse yourself and really dig deep into the clinical side, something else suffers and generally it's the marketing uh so meanwhile you're immersed within all this clinical stuff and the facebook algorithm is passing you up the youtube algorithm is passing you up google seo is passing you up right apps and technology so now you're you're the best doctor in the world but you're seeing three new patients in a week right and you should be three new patients in a morning and three new patients in the afternoon right you should be seeing 30 new patients a week instead of three so um Clinical confidence. So let, let me go through my what I believe to be the top three ways. Focus on one condition first and become this specialist uh, and become great at one thing. Now this this is from a marketing perspective and from a clinical perspective. Uh, from a marketing perspective, you know, if, if a doc comes into the inner circle with functional practice, we give them 27 websites, right? Thyroid, ADHD, weight loss, leaky gut, um, migraine. So sometimes they're, oh my gosh, where do I even begin? And I generally say, well, you can grab all the websites. We have a presence. And if you're already good at all that stuff, that's fine. Take them all. Uh, but if you want to really get good at one thing, focus on really drill deep into one thing. Thyroid, for example. Dr become the thyroid specialist, right? You'll have a thyroid-only website. Uh, start making thyroid-only videos, right? Make 10 YouTube videos on thyroid. Make 21 Facebook Live posts about thyroid. And really just really get good at it. You know, Apex has really good thyroid trainings you really want to dig deep into it but for me it's it's autoimmune you got to fix the gut so so what we've done is we've really streamlined it and systematized it made it easy for for doctors to follow um but focus on one thing really drill deep into that and then okay now i'm going to branch off into adhd once i have my foundation set for thyroid okay now i'm going to go over into adhd and drill deep there then i'm going to go over to and learn everything there is to know about leaky gut then i'm going to drill deep there with facebook lives with my youtube presence with my funnels you get the idea, all right? Keep things simple, all right? Take it one test at a time. For me, for the longest time, it was, it was food testing and it was the weight loss. Like for us, we ran a weight loss for a long time. We tied the food testing into it. And for, for some of you guys who've been with me for a long time, my initial program was called Slim and Trim. And uh, I put a ton of patients through that. We put that in about 110 clinics. And uh, the thing about that was, it, it basically was kind of ketogenic. It was kind of a, uh, plant-based whole food, you know, but we we tied the food testing into it. But we found that people were they're not only losing weight, feeling better, less achy, less inflamed. Uh, they're getting off their blood pressure medications, getting off their cholesterol medications, uh, diabetics like blood sugar was. So I was like, we pigeonholed ourselves because it was working for so many different things because of the food testing component. It was working for gut dysfunction and so many things that we pigeonholed ourselves by calling it slim and trim, right? We called it just weight loss. Um, cause, uh, so that, so then we tr transitioned it into triwall, which is now sensitivities, deficiencies, and toxicities. The original triwall was sensitivities, ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting. Patients, well, I've had doctors say, uh, they explain that to patients and then patient was like, hey, I can just go do ketogenic on my own. What do you need me for? I can do intermittent fasting on my own. So then we transit, okay, sensitivities, deficiencies, and toxicities. That's the, basically trial 2.0 uh, works very well and uh, but yeah take it one test at a time I had a patient this was going back a few months but came to me uh, I think I was a six or seven doctor he'd been to the previous doctor uh, four thousand dollars worth of tests on his first visit four grand and it didn't even include food testing and then that's my first test right let's let's reduce inflammation, improve gut function. He, basically, his story was two o'clock in the afternoon rolls around. He's, he's so hit the wall that he has to go home and sleep. Like he worked at you know Best Buy corporations here in the Twin Cities and that's where he worked. Two o'clock, he's, he's sleeping at home. And um, we, we food, he's a kind of, he liked to work out and he was, you know, 
mid twenties and, um, drinking a ton of protein shakes, eating a lot of eggs. Well, we, we food tested whey protein was off the charts and egg and big spikes to eggs. We cut out those things and he, he was fine, you know, and his one month follow up, he was, it was perfect, but it took an object of, you know, blood tests for looking at foods to determine what that is. So, um, but you don't have to do 4,000, you don't have to do thyroid adrenals and heavy metals and all these different things, all these different things and, and you just overwhelm. Patients don't want to be overwhelmed. So for us, it's sensitivities, deficiencies, and toxicity. You could do just, hey, I'm just going to modify your diet. So just keep it simple. Uh, simple cells, but also patients don't want to be overwhelmed. And from a clinical perspective, I tell, I tell docs, you know, focus on the fundamentals. Clean diet. Again, you don't have to go through FMU and IFM and all these nutrition degrees. You don't have to have all that stuff. Is that stuff good? That's fine. But um, not mandatory, right? I have a DC. That's all I have. So focus on the fundamentals. Clean diet. If you did just this thing, which is shift them over to kind of a keto. I like ketogenic. Uh, it needs to be modified, though, because not everybody should be consuming a ton of dairy. I had a patient putting a stick of Kerrygold butter in her coffee, you know, going through about a stick of butter every every two or three days. And uh, we food tested. Dairy was off the charts. So like, so it should be modified, right? So I'm a fan of ketogenic. It should be modified. I also does nutrients and we do uh, cell detox stuff. But if you just did one thing with a patient, which is, hey, let's go sugar-free like for the next week or two weeks or whatever, develop a protocol. And, you know, I have my protocols. I know this is this is going to be next to impossible to see, but it, this is a laminated, you know, it's a big, you know, 11 by 11 by 17. I know it's, it's going to be hard for you to see. But it's my, it's my care plans. It's all mapped out. Um Develop your own care plans. Develop your own key fees. Structure that stuff out, and allow the patient to choose which program is going to work best for them. The only variable for me is, it would be the follow-up visits. Hey, do I want to see you once a week? Is it every two weeks? Is it once a month? Is it never? Let's get you started, and you're on your way. And then you can email me if you have questions. So really dial down. Really, you know, keep things systematized, easy. But again, clean diet, nutrients, toxicities. If you just did that thing, that one thing, which is what we do with my trial system. And steer them into ketogenic, higher fat. If you, you put carbs within 20 to 50 grams, if you minimize their carbs to 20, 50 grams and you keep their sugars like 25 grams or less, just doing that one protocol, you're going to get clinical results 90% of the time because everybody's inflamed. If you reduce inflammation, so what happens if you, if you cut out sugar or minimize sugar and you, get, and you minimize carbohydrates, like 20 to, 40, 20 to 50 grams, what's going to happen? They're going to lose weight. They're going to sleep better. You heal when you sleep. Uh, they're going to be less achy, less joint pain, less back pain, neck, less neck pain, less headaches, neck, less knee pain, all that stuff because inflammation comes down. Gut dysfunction is going to improve. See what I'm saying? Mood is going to improve. Uh, depression, Anxiety and depression is going to improve. As there's a study, I, can't, I have to find it if you want to see it, but it's a lot of times people think, oh, okay, it's the depressed people that go after sugar. It's the opposite. It's the sugar that makes you depressed. So it's not the you know it's not, not the it's the chicken or egg thing. It's sugar actually leads to that, not the other way around. So just doing that one simple protocol, streamline it, systematize it, make it easy. Ninety percent you'll you'll get ninety percent of your patients better by just doing that thing. Uh, so do you have to go out and be the the you know go through three hundred something hours to learn how to do that? I'm not gonna uh, say no to that, but. Uh, you don't need it. The be member, the best clinician oftentimes doesn't win. It's the best marketer that wins. So I want you guys to be focused on your marketing. You know, if you need help with it, let me know. Just go to functionalpractice.com, watch a quick video there. And, uh, if, you know, if you want to hop on a call, I'd be happy to help you guys. But focus on the fundamentals. And, that, and that's what this is all about. Diet, detox, tying chiropractic into it. I don't do chiropractic anymore. I'm 100% functional. But by all means, tie adjustments, acupuncture, whatever other therapies and modalities and, and treatments you might do, tie that into your case fees and sell the package, sell the protocol. And, uh, and then you just go after the specific conditions and you market towards these different things. So, all right, guys, I'll let you go. Do me a favor, right? Please do me a favor. If you found value in this training, throw a yes in the comment section below. It's going to help me um, get a better understanding of if, if you guys like this form of of teaching and training, then I'll continue to make more, probably more geared towards marketing, but I'm gonna be handling questions 
as doctors come into the group because do all doctors, they always answer the question, what's your number one struggle? Is it insurance? Is it staff? Is it this and that? And then as, as questions come in, the, the, then I'll be able to make trainings uh, similar to this that uh, in Facebook Lives like this that will get those questions answered. So please throw yes in the comment section below if you found value. Guys, if you're watching this, I'll put this on YouTube as well. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you have questions, throw them in the comment section. Make sure you're subscribed. And uh, as always, guys, if you have any questions too, you can private message me. But if you want help scaling up functional medicine in a big way from a marketing perspective, right, sensitivities, deficiencies, and toxicity, that's our clinical component. But if you want the 27 websites and 27 funnels and all my Facebook ads, Google, and, and really help in the marketing category. So you can see three people in the morning, three new patients in the afternoon. Monday, Tuesday, went 30 new patients. You know, that that should be your focus. Uh, maybe not that to that extent. Maybe you don't want to see that many people, but fun way to go, fun way to practice, very lucrative. And uh, we've kind of cracked that code. So functionalpractice.com, go check that out. And if I can help in any way, just holler. Talk to you soon.